everyone. This is Dan French. I'm here with LV Home Experts, and we're here talking today about financing, real estate, money talk, entrepreneurs, people out there that are looking to invest their money. I'm in studio with Chuck It's Crusoe. He is from Simply Vegas. Chuck It's, what's going on today, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing excellent. How are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. And uh, as you can see, the calls are already coming in. And so that's good. You know, you got a lot of people that are already looking to see, uh, maybe they can get their questions answered. And we just <laughs> came on 30 seconds ago. <laughs> and, and this is our, our second show. So that means this is pretty good. This well, pretty I, th good. I think it's starting off all right. So yeah. let's let's talk a little bit about what's going on uh, here in the markets. Just really quick. I just want to touch base a little bit. Um, Chuck Itz is a real estate agent. And uh, he's been doing this quite a long time. I've been doing real uh, lending, excuse me, for a long time. Uh, I've been doing lending for about 13 years, uh, on and off. You know, I had uh, some things that I did personally that, you know, I've been through the college thing and I've done a lot of things. And so, how'd that work out for you? Uh, it worked out all right. <laughs> I didn't think I would be here <laughs> talking on the radio, <laughs> but it ended up that way. So. Um, you know, I have a lot of things that I want to talk to you about, and uh, you know, I think a lot of the audience doesn't really know too much. Who we are actually. Well, they know us. They know who you are. Some of them, but they they kind of just understand that what we do is financing and real estate. Yeah. Uh, and you know, what I want to say is, a lot of times people don't really take the initiative to find out uh, really about who they work with, yeah. and also what is the importance that somebody has. You know, I was I was looking at this today. You know, it's really it's really important that people understand that everybody's important. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to feel some sense of importance in anything in life. And I think when you look at some of the things that we do with what we do as far as the financing world or the real estate world, uh, we really want to make sure that every client has a different world they come from, but that they're important. You know, they, they're important in what they're trying to accomplish. Uh, we make them and try to make them important. I think any life, any walk of life, they want to feel some sense of importance. Well, keep in mind, not everybody gets a trophy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what? They should feel that maybe they have opportunity to get something. Well, everybody has an opportunity. They, they do, but I think it's like this. You know, you, you go into it, everybody wants to feel that their needs are met. Yeah. Everybody wants to make sure that they're getting the right information. That you truly care yeah. about what they're doing. I mean, a lot of... A lot of financing and real estate in this in this world that we live in, it's really just about people thinking that lenders are just an abundance, which we are. We have a lot of lenders out there, a lot of real estate agents out there. How many licensed real estate agents are there believe out there? Believe it or not, we went from 18,000 realtors to 19,000, believe it or not. Wow. Then less than 19,000. Now, that's a lot of realtors, man. Let me ask you this. Is it because the growth here is growing? And so as just law of averages if you have more people moving to vegas yeah we're about to hit three million people i mean think about this with nineteen thousand agents but i would say probably about 75 percent of them will only probably do one to zero deals a year well why is that well because a lot of people think that you know you get into real estate and you sell a couple homes to friends and family mm -hmm. and you, you think you're running a business but at the end of the day, you're really running a real business. It's an entrepreneurship that you really have to have. Yeah, I was... Uh, not everybody's I, cut out for it. I was talking to a real estate agent. So you're not the only realtor I work with, Chuck, unfortunately. And, uh, <laughs> you know what? You're fired. I'm done. So, <laughs> so I was talking to a realtor, though. And uh, as I go by, you know, I always walk in sometimes. And, and I kind of want to paint this picture. You know, it's like you walk in to these open houses. And I used to see a lot of cars out in open houses. So yeah. if I'm driving somewhere... As a lender, it's good practice if you're somebody that's in the business. You walk in, you maybe hand your card out to somebody, yeah. and you go through the process of meeting that person. And so recently I met a realtor, yeah. and they just got started. Now, they have a lot of history. Sometimes having a business background, yeah. maybe going through and, and you know owning a business, helps you as a realtor to start up and, and get going because you know what's going to be involved. But this person just started out and he's about seven months in the business and he's telling me, man, this is tough. You know, it's just, it is. <laughs> how it's do you, easy. how do you make ends meet on this? You know, so it's, you don't. It, <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it. Yeah. So explain how you did it in your own way and what challenges that you faced 
Because if you could do it, I mean, others can do it, but yeah. it's not an easy road. No, it's not. What it really comes down to is just hard work and mm -hmm. tenacity. Now, when I got started, I got started when the market crashed. Right. I didn't know any better. Uh, when the market crashed, I was coming in, and I remember the first brokerage that I worked with, mm -hmm. cool dude, cool broker, and he said, look, Chuck, it's, if you can weather out this storm, if you do what I tell you to do, when the market is good, you're going to blow up, Okay. The, the first year was the hardest year in my entire life. I mean, we're talking about homes that are only 150,000. We're homes now. Wow. The median price point for a home, right, is about 160. I'm sorry, the average now is 100. I mean, sorry, 360,000. Mm -hmm. But during that time period, I mean, we had over about 18,000 bank owned properties on the market. Mm -hmm. They couldn't give it away. I was trying to push and say, hey, buy now, buy now. A lot of people follow the mass and the herd, right? Mm hmm. I was going the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> well, you went against the grain. Yes. So I guess what you're looking at is there was probably a point where you wanted to give up at this real estate thing, right? Did you ever you, think you, about you know it? What? I had the tenacity and drive, uh -huh. and I knew what I wanted to become, and I knew that this was going to be the source of my financial freedom. Okay. So how long did it take, and what challenges did you have? Meaning, if you were going through the process and somebody's out there what makes i think it's a character thing like over your challenges failures yeah. and successions mm -hmm. you have where your character is defined or it's molded into who you are today Correct. so what are the, some of the things that maybe contributed to why you're a good real